I went to uh, the original L.C. Anderson High School in Austin. And what year did you graduate? 1949. Dr. Jones, what was the climate like during such a racially motivated era? Well, the, uh, it was needless to say segregated. And uh, I played in the high school band. In 1949, uh, we had uh, Nathaniel uh, Nat Williams to come to Houston Tillotson, to Tillotson at that time. We had two colleges, Sam Houston and Tillotson. Uh, and he started the band program, and I was awarded a music scholarship because I had played in the band at Anderson. We started out about 14 students, and before I left, we had a symphony orchestra, a jazz, ba jazz band, a, cho a choir, a concert band. We had five different parts of the music department under Nat Williams administration uh, directions and in 1952 the schools merged Sam Houston and Tillotson. Well because of uh, uh, 35 that went through uh, they had to sell all of Sam Houston's property and believe it or not Sam Houston owned all that property down 11th Street, 12th Street, 13th Street, across 35. It was a huge campus, but the highway department took most of it up. So Sam Houston came to Tillotson's campus. How large was your family and how did they support you in your journey to college? Well, there were, I was a family of eight. My sister just above me finished high school in 1948. So uh, my parents couldn't afford for both of us to go to school. So we both ended up with music scholarships at Tillotson. What was the deciding factor of you choosing HT for higher education? I, there was no choice. I, I had to get a job at 50 cents an hour plus bus fare or to go to college. and. Uh, I chose the college. How was the campus as a student for you at Houston Tillerson University? It was it was magnificent to me because we had old um, facilities, extremely old. Where the tower is now, there was a uh, Allen Hall, which was a five-story building, which uh, housed freshmen and sophomore girls up on the hill where the girls' dormitory now is, was Beard Hall. And that house sec, uh, juniors and seniors. Across the way where the boys' dorm is, we had a clay, kit, a clay basketball court. Our, our gym was in the basement of Allen Hall, which is one store, one level and extremely, extremely limited facilities. Where the Student Union Building is now, parts of it was a, a vet hut, veterans uh, facilities. We had Boys Cottage, which was a two-story building where uh, most of the athletes lived. They lived on the top floor. Extremely, extremely limited, okay? Uh, but I can recall in the 40s when Mary E. Branch came to Tillotson to, uh, she saved Tillotson. She was our first female president. And that's why they have Mary E. Branch Auditorium. Across from Allen Hall, which is where the chap a tower is, uh, was, you see, Evans Hall. That was our science building. Our library was located in the old administration building. Those two buildings are the original buildings on Tillotson's campus. What is the single most important thing you've taken from HT? My, number one, my education. 
my experience and uh, playing with people in the band with students from other cities. In 49, we had about 15, 12 to 13 students, male students, to come from uh, Brooklyn, New York to run track. And I still have communication with their families now. And that's been a long, long time ago. <laughs> Dr. Jones, what would you say is the moment you're most proud of? My proudest moment was when I was uh, elected the NAACP uh, Outstanding uh, Alumnus during 1994 in Atlanta, Georgia. And then too, I served uh, as secretary to uh, International Alumni Association. I served as president of the International Alumni Association and I was elected to uh, represent the Alumni Association on trustee board. I, I served there for about nine years. College degree in hand, what was next after Houston Tillerson? Well, number one, I couldn't get a job. So I got a job at Houston Tillerson as the uh, uh, ex uh, um, secretary to uh, Dr. Elliot. His daughter, Orianne Elliott, is presently on city council at, in Austin. So I had a great, we've had a great span of activities and accomplishments from students of Houston Tillerson. We have one to, to uh, work on discovering an element. James Harris from Waco, Texas. Okay. <laughs> and we finished the same year. In 1953, from the combined schools, we were the first class to finish from the combined schools. We have another alumnus, Dr. A. Cecil Williams, who has a big church in San Francisco. One of our alumni was uh, A. Z. Taylor Morton, who was the treasurer of the United States. Robert Stat Stanton from Fort Worth, who was over the parks and recreations, parks department for the United States government. Definitely a lot of rich history here at HT. That's, a, that's, a, that's right, from a Portland black school on the east side, which nobody ever heard of on the west side of I-35. We were non-existent. I was so moved by the fact that I had the opportunity to go on a music scholarship until uh, while I was on trustee board, we accept, I personally established a $50,000 uh, endowment scholarship to the music department. It's in honor of Bert Adams, who was an instruct band teacher at Sam Houston, Nat Williams, who was an instructor at Tillotson, and my husband, who was very supportive. So every year, I donate uh, $2,000 to the Adams Williams Jones Scholarship Fund. When I turned 70, I took my IRA and rollover. I donate that right back to the school because I'm very, I give back. I'm very appreciative. In regards of the music scholarship fund that you started, uh, you received an honorary doctor of humane letters from HT in 1994 for your continued support. How did that make you feel to be recognized? Oh, that was under Dr. McMillan, and I was thrilled. I really didn't want it because uh, I, 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 I do it on my own. I loved the school so much, but it was an extreme honor to have a, a humane letters doctoral degree given to me. It's still a very good school to go to, and it's not uh, what students don't realize is it's not the facilities of what you want to do in the long run, because we have libraries on campus, we have libraries in Austin, we have libraries up uh, right down the street from the campus. So if a student wants to learn, wants to learn, there are facilities right there in Austin that they can benefit from. And with the relationship with the University of Texas, they, can, they could even use that facility. But Austin has grown by leaps and bounds. There was a time that 
everybody was con all the blacks were concentra uh, concentrated over in East Austin. That's no longer a situation. I went to Blackshire, which is across the street from Houston, Tulsa. Keelan, which is down the street. We had four elementary schools, one junior high, and one high school. And every, you know, all blacks went there. And it was a very, very great, it was a great experience, but it's all changed. That's progress for you. <laughs> First of all, I'm very, very happy to know that we have our second female president of our college, of our university, which we're very, very proud of. Uh, to the students, I suggest stay focused. You're in school to better your conditions. Stay focused. And to our students also, when you, once you finish college, University, don't forget where you came from. Give back to help some other student to accomplish their goals in life. I enjoy giving back, and I'll never stop giving back. Wait a minute, I want to ask, of course, who's going to see this? <laughs> <laughs>